Hi, I'm Ivan Zoot. Welcome to the Andis Barber Shop. Today at the Andis Barber Shop, it's another episode of Andis Tool Tips on the web. Mohawk, Fauxhawk, Lohawk, Frohawk. However, do you know Hawk? There's all these different haircuts with these ridge lines on the top of the head. And you know what? We throw the terms around. Has anybody ever taken a moment to define what is a mohawk? Why is a mohawk not a faux hawk? What is a faux hawk? Why is a faux hawk not a fro hawk? What is a fro hawk? Why is a fro hawk kind of like a low hawk? And why is a low hawk not a mohawk? Here we go. Let's see. The first one we're going to look at is a faux hawk. F-A-U-X, faux, as in fake. A faux hawk is a styled haircut. There is no haircut called a faux hawk. You can't cut a faux hawk. A faux hawk is any haircut. Any haircut can be a faux hawk. It's any haircut styled into a ridge line. So we're going to style a faux hawk. We're going to take an ordinary haircut, turn it into a faux hawk through styling. We're going to use gel, we're going to use blow dryer, and we're going to faux it. We're going to fake it. That's what makes it a faux hawk. There's no such thing as cutting a faux hawk. It's a styling trick. Take a look. This guy here, he's sporting a faux hawk. A faux hawk is just that. It's faked. It's not cut in. You can't cut a faux hawk. You take any old ordinary haircut, push it in towards the middle. That gives you a faux hawk. Okay, here we go. This look is called a low hawk. It's not a faux hawk because it's not faked. This is sculpted or cut in. There's an absolute progression of length from shortest to longest, moving up the head to the ridge line. It's called a low hawk because the height of the ridge line is defined by the length here and the curve of the head. As you come up, it's only so high you can come up. Would we come a little higher? We could. We could have a little more length, but we couldn't get it all the way up to here with a true progressive transition. So this version of a ridgeline haircut is not a faux hawk. It's not faked. It's for real. And it's not a mohawk because there is no radical disconnection between the sides and the ridgeline. It's called a low hawk because of its low height. A low hawk, similar to a fro hawk, the only difference between a low hawk and a fro hawk is the texture of hair. If it's kinky, curly, tight textured hair, automatically going to be called a fro hawk if it's sculpted in in this way. You can mohawk kinky, curly textured hair, but if it's cut in or sculpted at minimal height, that's called a low hawk. No faking, it's cut for real. Let's talk fro hawk. A fro hawk is a modified form of a low hawk haircut on afro textured hair. I didn't have an afro textured mannequin and I didn't have an afro textured guy that I could have come over here today to show you this, but I got this picture off the web and you can see it's a fade, faded up into the top, it's sculpted. There is a natural transition from the short sides up into the ridge line. The ridge line can be down the middle, it can be off to the side, it can be diagonal, it can be S-shaped, it doesn't matter. This one's right down the center, but as you can see, it is fully blended transition. It has that from the sides up into the top. There is no line, no ridge, or no demarcation. It's not fake. You can't wear it any other way. It's for real, and it's sculpted in there into the texture of the hair. That is a frohawk because it's done on ethnic textured or afro textured hair, and it's cut very similar to the way we cut a low hawk. By the same reasons a low hawk is what it is, it's not particularly high, or the height is limited by cranial shape and curvature. That is your frohawk. This one here, this one is a mohawk. A mohawk is, by definition, a radical disconnection between the ridge line and the back and sides. You can have three inches of hair on the sides as long as the ridge line is anything more than three and not blended. You can have skin on the back and sides and the ridge line is anything more than skin and not blended. From short to long, it doesn't matter. But the definition, by, by definition, a mohawk, unlike a faux hawk, which is just a styling trick, and a low hawk, which is a sculpted transition, a mohawk is a radical disconnection and a distinct difference between the sides and the back. Whether it's centered, crooked, sideways, or S-shaped, all those variations are perfectly acceptable, but a mohawk is cut, and it's cut big time, different with a strong jump.